I want to share with you high limit credit cards that pull TransUnion for bad or fair credit. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to share with you high limit credit cards that pull TransUnion for fair or bad credit. So, this is the kind of uh, video you want to watch if you have a high TransUnion credit score or you want to take advantage of uh, credit cards, okay, in that space. Number five, we have a uh, Capital One Platinum, our score 8 over 10. Now, historically, Capital One pulls all three credit bureaus, but so if you have a high TransUnion uh, FICO score, that's kind of cool also, okay, not a problem. And one thing I want to say is that the Capital One Platinum card is great for average or bad credit, okay? So here are the pros and cons. The pros, you, have, you can qualify with average credit, no annual fee, no foreign transaction fees, okay? The cons, you have a high APR that, that hovers around 27% and the car has no rewards, okay? So the Capital One Platinum credit card is a solid option for those with average or bad credit. It has no annual fee and they charge no foreign transaction fees, okay? So this is really good and we love the fact that the card has no penalty APR for late payments, okay? They have uh, fraud coverage, fraud coverage, they have unlimited access to CreditWise and the app that monitors your credit profile for you. And they report to all three credit bureaus. Okay, so you might want to you might want this Capital One Capital the this Capital One Platinum credit card if you want you don't want to spend on fees. Okay, you want to earn the chance to boost your credit limits, and you want to get a report to all three major credit bureaus. And you can even pick a, your monthly due date and payment period, and you can avoid a penalty APR for late payments. Okay, you might want a different card if you are looking for rewards. If you're looking for fixed monthly payments okay so long story short is a capital one platinum credit card for you it really depends if you have fair or bad credit and you have an existing relationship with capital one this could be a great card for you because it gives you a chance to earn a higher credit limit after six months because capital one does this uh, marvelous thing in our view where they okay where they automatically review your account not just after six months as all the other credit card issuers do but after three months so you have a shorter time period to prove to Capital One that you are indeed a financially responsible, you know, cardholder. And if you do that, they will raise your limit. Number four, we have fifth third, truly simple. Our score, 8.5 over 10. One thing we love about the fifth third, truly simple card is that it is very flexible, okay? It has a lot of uh, amenities, a lot of perks, and it is a balanced transfer card with a 0% intro APR on purchases and balanced transfers for the first 15 months. Think about that. This is really good, 15 months. And after that, the APR varies from 11.99% to 22.99%, okay? So it is really a balanced transfer card. It has no annual fee, this is really important. And it has no penalty rate also. If you make a lit payment, you will not have a penalty rate applied, okay? And there is no annual fee also, okay? But one thing I wanna see here is that um, the, the truly simple card does not offer a rewards program at all. There is a balanced transfer fee of 4% of the amount of the transfer or $5, whichever is greater. And after the intro rate, you have a, an APR that goes a little high. Maximum here is 22.99%. Okay. Now, obviously, it depends. The, the APR you get fun, ultimately will depend on uh, your credit worthiness and other information that you provided during the application pro during the credit card application process okay and one thing i want to say is that when you think about the rates and fees they are pretty reasonable okay pretty reasonable 11.99 to 22.99 that's kind of cool compared to to the to the 26.99 that the capital one charges the fifth third truly really simple is really better okay and uh, so you also have zero liability protection okay you can save time at checkout so you can upload your card to any one of uh, 
uh, three digital wallet solutions okay google pay apple pay and samsung pay you also have uh, mastercard access to mastercard global service which is really good and uh, so when you think about the truly simple query card what are the benefits well you have identity protection zero liability okay but long story short long story short this is the card you want for balance transfers and if you have a large purchase to make because you have a zero percent intro apr for 15 months on balance transfers and purchases so a card you want to use if you have a big purchase to make or you're trying to uh, transfer balances from a higher higher interest credit card to this card okay but it, it also helps if you have a relationship with fifth third bank you want to have a relationship with fifth third bank especially if you have bad credit if you don't if you have stellar credit you don't need a relationship but if you have bad credit or fair credit it would help if you had a relationship first with fifth third number three folks we have a uh, regions cash rewards visa signature our score 8.8 .8 over 10 this is a great card also folks okay it's a, it's a great card that allows you to actually earn cash back on all purchases okay the apr is kind of high though the regular apr is kind of high you're looking at 16.24 percent to 26.24 percent okay and but actually it's high but if you're able to pay your full balance every month you're good to go okay and uh, the one thing i want to say here is that there is an intro purchase apr on this card that's zero percent for the first 12 months from account opening date okay it's important and when we talk about the benefits that i was just talking to you earlier about the benefits you have you can earn unlimited 1.5 percent cashback on all purchases okay you can redeem rewards for a statement credit direct deposit or a physical check it's totally up to you you can this card requires a regions bank personal checking accounts if you want to apply for the card okay and the card has no foreign transaction fee so my point here is that when you think about the rates and fees you are looking at rates and fees that are reasonable but you definitely don't want to carry balances on this card because the fees can be really high okay and you definitely want to make your payments on time because uh, if not you might be you might end up paying a lot of cash for example the late payment penalty is uh, 39 dollars okay so this is something so if somebody were to ask you what is the, this card at a glance the card allows you to earn 1.5 percent cashback on every purchase okay and it also has uh, no annual fee and 12 months of zero percent intro apr on purchases and balance transfer so this card is ideal for those who have a personal checking account with, with the regions bank and make at least uh, i mean they make at least uh, ten thousand dollars a year in gross income if you value a higher starting credit limit than a sign up bonus this is good if you are looking for a supplementary credit card to add to your current lineup this is also good okay so when you think about this uh, this card you have um, you can earn cash rewards okay you can redeem your your rewards for, for cash back or a statement credit not a problem so if you want to apply the question is should you apply yes if you are in a geography that regions covers and you want to have another card to add to your lineup and you are financially responsible and you are and you meet their salary requirements this is kind of cool remember the salary requirements are pretty low ten thousand ten thousand dollars for a year that's gross income but uh, the higher the better the higher your income the better but you want to have that relationship with the uh, with the regions very important Number two, folks, we have here truest future. Our score 9.2 over 10. So when you, this is a great card. It's a great card because it allows you to have a 0% intro APR for 15 months from account opening date. This is really good. Now, this card does not allow you to have balance transfer, uh, an APR, an intro APR on balance transfers. So you don't want to use this for balance transfers. You want to use this for if you have a large purchase to make and you're trying to uh, take care of your liquidity situation. This is a card for you, okay? So this card has one of the lowest APR of choice card offerings. It has no annual fee. You can enjoy 15 uh, 15 months of zero percent apr oh by the way 
on purchases and balance transfers. Okay, so the the zero percent interest APR does apply to balance transfers. Very important. And you have contactless payments and mobile wallets for faster checkouts. And you have customizable card controls for extra security. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So when we talk about this uh, this card, especially the rates and fees, the APR is kind of decent. You are looking at twelve point seventy four percent to twenty one point seventy four percent. Okay, that's the regular APR. Okay. And uh, this is this is really good, but they, they do charge for the balance transfer. They do charge three percent of the amount of each transfer, or ten dollars, whichever is greater. So it's, a, it's a really important to know this. Okay, so the this card, the choice feature, is excellent for those who have an existing credit card balance they want to pay down. They are planning a big ticket purchase. They have a uh, good to excellent credit. And okay, and they don't want to pay an annual fee. This is great for you. But if you, even if you have bad credit, you can qualify for this card, assuming you have uh, taken care of your financial aspect of things. Very important, okay. And one thing I also want to say here is that the should you apply for the card, we will say definitely yes, definitely apply for the card because uh, if you think about all the benefits that the card uh, the card brings to you, especially if you have a large purchase to make, this is a card that you want to apply for, okay? And one thing that's very important also is that don't forget to have the truest relationship. By the way, truest actually came out of a merger between some trust bank and bbnt okay so this is this is a large bank this is a reputable bank i mean the brain might be might be new okay might be unknown to you but they've been around for for decades through their their former entities okay so that's really important to mention and one thing i also want to say here is that if you want to apply for if you want to get approved for the truest future card fast you want to apply at a branch if you live in the vicinity of a, a truest bank branch please go to that branch and have a conversation with uh, someone so they can process your application faster and it, it really helps if you can bring your uh, your documents all along with you okay i'm talking about your w2s your tax returns your your pay stubs and whatnot so that they can actually uh, actually approve you fast i'll be uh, i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Asam Suri Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about high limit credit cards that pull TransUnion for fair or bad credit. Number one, the best of the best in our view. We have a US Bank Visa Platinum. Our score 9.6 over 10. So this is a card you want to have. This is not a it's a card that is all in one. It is a great card, we believe so, okay. And if you are thinking about making a large purchase, let's say, let's say you want to pay off a large purchase or you want to transfer balances, this is a card for you. Why? Because you have uh, you have actually an intro APR, 0%, okay, for 20 billion cycles. Think about it. For purchases and balance transfers, 20, uh, 20 billion cycles, 0%. So this is actually the card that you, that if you are making like a big, big purchase, whatever, you want to put this on the card and, and not pay anything for it for 20 months, go ahead and do it. Okay. So here are the pros and cons. Pros, no annual fee, 0% intro period, and cell phone insurance. Here are the cons. No rewards, requires average to good credit and no bonus offer so when you think about this credit card i want you to think about the fact that you know in terms of the, the card basics this is a zero percent apr low interest balance transfer card okay as i said before 20 billion 20 billion cycles that's great there's no annual fee but there is a balance transfer fee of three percent or five minimum five dollar minimum whichever is greater okay the card doesn't have a lot of benefits really important to mention that it doesn't have no benefits the, the only benefits are the uh, the ability to do balance transfers and to do a zero percent intro purchases that's what it is okay and you, you there are some pitfalls and possible and the possibilities with the card now the card as i said before does not offer a reward so if you're looking for a rewards card a card i think you should look for another card okay so is the card is the us bank visa platinum card right for you yes 
If you are looking to do a balance transfer, yes. If you are looking to make a big purchase, yes. If you have a, if you have a family situation where you cannot be fast enough, well, listen, this card could be great for you, okay? Because it gives you the possibilities that you need. It gives you the, the information that you need. So the bottom line is the U.S. Bank Visa Platinum is our top-rated bank. Uh, top rated credit card when it comes to high limits credit cards that pull TransUnion for fair or bad credit. So, US Bank Visa Platinum 9.6 over 10. Let me actually have a little conversation before we close today's uh, talk. And how do you apply for a credit card that pulls TransUnion? and get approved okay well you first want to make sure that you that your, your transunion record is uh, accurate this is really important that this is a prerequisite okay this is really what it is you want this is the foundational elements here make sure it is accurate make sure it is complete it is updated okay and so you need to know your credit score and what it means okay you you need to do you need to think about your needs what are your needs you need a credit card for travel and and, and uh, entertainment do you want a credit card for let's say uh, for grocery grocery purchases for everyday expenses why do you why do you need the credit card for okay this is important and you want to learn about the credit card terms i'm talking about the annual fee the apr the balance transfer the cash advance penalty fees rewards rate foreign transaction fees welcome bonus you might be thinking you know i know these things already but hey listen for the specific credit card issuer that you are about to sign with maybe their terms are different maybe they're using different words you know they're using uh, different things they're saying different things differently but you have to be able to uh, familiarize yourself with those important topics okay and also check for pre-approval so is the credit card that you want to approve that you want to uh, apply for do they offer pre-approval if they do this is really great because then you don't have to then you can preserve your FICO score and you don't have to lose five or ten points so this is all oh, it's this is very good be prepared for your credit to be impacted after you apply so what whereas pre-approval that does just do a soft pull and does not impact your credit score an actual approval process will have will have to involve hard inquiry on your credit score and this could be detrimental for you if you have some issues if you have some uh, kinks in your closet some iron some some you know skeletons in your closet this could be a problematic thing to think about and you want to determine a repayment strategy so what i'm trying to say here is that getting the high limit credit card is one thing but you, you need to prove to the lender that you have a, a system in place where you are repaying the credit card okay so this is really important and you can actually do this at a branch by showing your pay stubs for example by showing your financial statements from another bank for example by showing uh you can actually show uh, a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that 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 basically makes sure that helps you get the credit card that you need and deserve and here are our here are our pro tips okay if you really want to uh, get a credit card approved real fast you want to gather the necessary information and what I'm talking about making sure that when you go to the to the issuer you have all the all the information that you need okay and so I'm talking about your full legal name your date of birth your address your social security number your annual income when we talk about annual income we are speaking about what we're speaking about your w-2s your your pay your your paycheck for example okay your 1099 if you are self-employed okay your tax returns also okay and remember that all kinds of income may apply okay it can be spousal support it could be alimony it can be uh, social security retirement checks okay whatever it is you have to put that so that the credit card issuer or the lender can make a i would say an informed decision when they decide to reject you or approve you this is really important and uh, so you want to choose a method to apply and you want to follow the associated steps a lot of folks want to apply for a credit card online which is fine okay i mean you can go to the issuer's website you can actually enter your information and you can pray that the algorithm takes care of you that's what it is okay 
but or you can try to apply with the you know you can apply in person which is what we recommend actually the folks do so you are able to apply in person you want to have a conversation with the banker you want to understand their uh, the, the policies you want to understand uh, how to actually apply by those policies and this is what it is okay you can also apply over the phone yeah you can apply over the phone and you just pick up the phone and just have a conversation with uh, with the credit card rep and they will take care of you Okay, this is really important. Or you can apply it through the mail. I'm talking about the USPS mail. If you receive an offer through the mail, and you, if you don't have time or you are not familiar with uh, with the internet, you can actually apply. You can reply through the mail. Okay, you can send them the, your 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 information, the, the whatever they requested from you. You can send it back to them and ask them to confirm the receipt. Okay, usually we recommend that people send. Uh, very important documents to the UPS requesting receive receive uh, receipt re requesting receipt okay this is really important for the long run okay so the bottom line here is that you have four ways to uh, to request uh, to apply for a credit card you can re you can go to the issuer's website you can apply in person you can apply over the phone or through the mail Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about credit card uh, that pulled Trans Union for fair credit on bad or bad credit. But before I do the recap, please check out this credit card evaluation approach. It tells you about our approach when it comes to uh, credit card evaluation, listing, and, cate and categorization. <laughs> Thank you so much. Number one here, we are speaking about the high limits credit cards that pull TransUnion for fair or bad credit. Number one, U.S. Bank Platinum, Visa Platinum, 9.6 over 10. Number two, we have a Trust Future, not Trust, Truest Future, 9.2 over 10. Number three, we have here, Regions Cash Rewards, Visa Signature, 8.8 .8 over 10. Number four, we have Fifth Third, Truly Simple, 8.5 over 10. Number five, we have here, Capital One Platinum. 8 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>